Gotta fight the toughest guy out there. My name is Paul Jesse Pendon Newberry Chaco. I just like competing. I like going to the higher levels, being the best at whatever I do, whether it's sports or life. My professional record is 2 0. My amateur record is uh, I'm undefeated. I'm uh, 8 0. I hold uh, two belts one belt for Explode Fight Series at 170, and then for Epic Fight Series, I took uh, 185. I grew up fighting. Um, I tell the story all the time. Uh, we never had fights in school, um, at least when I grew up. Uh, we'd have fight cards. If you didn't like someone and uh, they didn't like you, if you guys didn't, you know, talk sh put your name on the fight card, we had a barbecue at someone's house and you put on some gloves and throw down. Just like the fact that you could be in control of your body. Uh, and to be able to control someone else's body what, you know, while fighting and uh, opposing their will and enforcing yours is just something that, that drives me. It, it, it interests me and I want to be good at it and now that I got intrigued by it I want to be the best at it. During a fight I want to take that head off. I don't want to lose of course but I don't I'd rather win by knockout or putting him on my highlight reel of my career. I can submit people but it's not my uh, it's not something I look for or go to immediately. If I have to I will. But um, it always feels good to put someone to sleep. I like going in there calm, um, knowing what it is, going into fight, putting my best foot forward. If he catches me, I work from there and it's easier because I'm calm and I don't have my heart racing, panicking and stuff, so I feel it's a better way to approach any fight. When I'm getting closer to a fight, about maybe two weeks out, it gets pretty intense, more intense than normal. I run in the morning, I go to class, skip class early, go to practice, and go back to practice again from 5.30 to 8, and again, condition and train till maybe 9.30, 10 at night. About a month and a half out, you know, of course I start tightening up my diet, eating healthier, uh, more proteins, more greens, to try and naturally lose uh, weight better. Once I got out of the Marine Corps is when I started pursuing MMA even more. I started at a bunch of a couple of gyms down here and um, I won't name them. I didn't like the atmosphere in there. And then I found uh, San Diego Combat Academy. Found it was pretty cool because you, you met people who were there to train hard, fight, but also caring about you as a person. And it was like family. Family who you know could punch each other's faces in and the next second turn around and you go get some tacos down the street with them or not. It's been a crazy ride from the Marine Corps to here. I think every little progression in the Marine Corps is what got me committed to going to MMA. My first fight with this gym fought at Paula Casino, which was pretty cool because it was against some guy who was uh, in the Air Force, a former airman. Ended in the first round by a cut stoppage and um, it was pretty cool. The adrenaline was going and it's just a different feeling being in the cage. I don't think you can find one fighter who can honestly tell you he doesn't get you know a little nerves or anxiousness to go in there because it's, it's like going to war. You know you're fighting. I want to make money. I want to be rich. It sounds vain but it's true. I want to be rich to provide for my family. Um, my mom has been through a lot in her life, from beating cancer four times now, having you know like three major surgeries, just finished a surgery on her knee, having like ten small minor surgeries, all in her heart. And this woman still every day loves me, you know, as much as she can, and uh, pushes me every day to be great. So. If my mom can push me to be great, why can't I?